Hi everyone and welcome back as I take a look at episode 3 of Ultra Violet. This is all to do with genetics and human guinea pigs. Now the story starts off with a barrister called Marion Wainwright heading back to her car in the car park. She's intercepted by two hoodlums. She then mysteriously blacks out. And these two hoodlums are killed by an unseen force. Vaughan is at the police station viewing the CCTV of the incident. And the attackers have been clearly been attacked by something. But what? It doesn't appear on the screen. Vaughan obviously knows that the two hoodlums have been intercepted by a vampire. And so the investigation into Marion Wainwright gets underway. She's a barrister involved in a number of cases, and some of them are a right stinker cases. But there's no sort of real evidence that she has any dealings with the vampires at this stage. So, they decide that Angie should go and have a quiet chat with her in due course. Meanwhile, Kirsty uh, turns up at Mike's old flat, finds he's gone, and she becomes sort of paranoid, you could say. And she decides to hire the services of a journalist called Jacob. She tells the story of Mike being a police officer who investigated his partner who was going to marry her. His partner disappears. Mike's now disappeared. And the journalist Jacob is quite intrigued and decides to pursue the story. Meanwhile, Marion has been brought in to be interviewed by Pierce. He starts to question her she suddenly has this strange nosebleed and once again she blacks out now is this a coincidence maybe or maybe not anyway she's taken down to the uh, medical lab and examined by angie it looks like she's pregnant but is she really pregnant there's something peculiar going on here and it doesn't add up now at the time of her blackout right at that point mike has dug up her former husband who committed suicide and hit peers he's not in his grave so therefore mr wainwright has been crossed over to the vampires so, something is going on. What it is, they're still not quite sure. But it does lead up to a clinic. The Moorcroft Fertility Clinic. And while the investigation gets underway, material is removed from the, the clinic for examination by Angie. She and Pierce are talking in the lab. She forms an opinion of what the vampires could be up to by replacing living tissue with their tissue in an envelope and so forth. And to prove her point to Pierce that she suspects it to be code 5, she places the material on the window ledge and subjects it to sunlight. So, the material goes up in smoke. It's code five. The vampires are up to something. And they are using Marion Wainwright as some sort of lab rat, guinea pig, call it what you like. Outside the... Moorcroft Clinic, Vaughan is telling Mike about the 
backstory of Angie, the vampires approached her. They wanted to cross her over because they wanted her knowledge. She refused. So they grabbed her husband and one of her children. So now Mike and Vaughan are in the clinic with Marion. And sort of all hell breaks loose. There's somebody breaking in. For, um, we don't actually know what this breaking is about. Is it a distraction? Is it somebody stealing something? We don't actually know. But uh, Mike and Vaughan have a bit of a shootout. <laughs> but the culprit gets away. And the clinic staff help Marion to get away because they're coming rather edgy about what is going on who are these people so they let her you know get out get out the building so she's sort of on the run Marion phones the police the police say look we can't talk to you we're transferring you to another person that person being Pierce Pierce tells her look go to an abortion clinic go to a hospital get rid of it an illegal, dangerous experiment has been conducted on you and you could possibly die from this experiment. She then pursues um, advice from an independent clinic about you know what she thinks she's carrying. Meanwhile, the investigation leads to a warehouse full of medical equipment which is discovered by Mike and Vaughan. So another piece of the puzzle is put into place. Marion is talking to the counsellor. She has another funny turn, blacks out. The counsellor phones for an ambulance. The ambulance picks her up and the ambulance is intercepted by Marion's former husband, who is a vampire. Now, Angie has been speaking to Jackie Seabrook, a midwife, who's been helping the vampires unofficially. And this leads her to catching up with the ambulance and effectively telling uh, Marion's husband, get away from your wife. And what happens basically is Mike and Vaughan do turn up just at the point that obviously Angie has shot him and got rid of him. Marion dies. So it seems that Marion was being used by the vampires into some sort of research in creating a living vampire. How far that research what was you know down the road nobody actually knows there's still a lot of pieces missing from the puzzle yes yeah, so it's yeah quite an interesting episode it's it's definitely a, a very intriguing series ultraviolet and yep that's another good one in my opinion and on that note catching due course have a great day goodbye